you right guys and welcome back to the channel it's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects so as promised earlier this is the Blood Angels Primaris Intercessors painting tutorial so um, red is a very awkward colour to paint I think I've done a decent job on this anyway so um, I hope you like it and I hope it's um, I hope it's some use to a lot of like I hope it helps guys and don't forget to like subscribe and share the video Nice one guys, see you later. Right guys, so we're gonna begin this painting tutorial. I've already painted, I've already primed the model with the Vallejo Surface Primer, the white one. And then I've used the Mephisto on Red from Games Workshop as a base color. So next we're gonna use the Citadel Caribou and Crimson and the Citadel Agrax Earth Shade, shade paints to shade in all the detail. I'm going to be using a sable brush right now. This collects up the washes, which allows me to distribute the washes in a more even way. So guys, has anyone ever used these painted handles yet from Citadel? I've, I've recently just purchased one of them and got a couple more for Christmas off my mum. But I think these are fantastic, you know. I've, I've never used any sort of painted handle before in my life. But it really comes in handy and for £5 you can't grumble at that can you really. So this is what it looks like fully washed looking at the detail pop out now and I can't wait to start dry brushing it next for the dry brush we're going to use Citadel Kindle Flame and then we're going to use the Army Painter small dry brush I'm going to dab the brush into the pot get a bit of paint on the end and then we're going to get rid of the excess by dabbing it on the napkin and then we're going to lightly go over the edges So the Citadel's Carabone Crimson Wash is going to bring the red back out in the model. It's going to make that red pop again. Um, and it's also going to dull down that dry brush as well because it looks a bit orangey. But it will change the effect of it now. So apply this all over. So apply that all over. I'm using the sable brush again because like I said, the, the hair on this absorbs more wash and allows for an even distribution. So guys, did you notice how I just dropped the mini then on the table? Now if this wasn't on the painting handle, I think it would have been scuffed and probably would have scuffed the paint off the model. So I'm not trying to sell you these, but I do think this is a great investment. You should know this by now guys, I love these washes. The model's starting to come together now, it's looking a lot better. It's looking a little bit more, you know, in the professional standard. I'm not calling myself a professional. I'm not a pro, I'm just pro painting and I love to paint. 
Next up, we're gonna use the Game Colors Black. This is gonna be used to paint around the back of the knees, any of the vents, and the bolter. Also, we'll be using Citadel's Retributor Armor to paint the Aquila on the front chest plate. Then after that, we're gonna use the Army Painter Gun Metal to paint the bolt gun and the vents on the back of the backpack. I find that when I'm painting the Aquila, it's best to turn the model upside down so it's facing yourself and that way you can get into the chest plate a lot more easier. Just a little hint and tip there for you guys. Now with the black, what I've done now is I thinned it down on a ratio of one to one. So one part water, one part black. And the reason why we do this is because we don't want the detail getting clogged up with thick paint. Using the gun metal by Army Painter, I'm going to I'm going to thin it down with a one-to-one -one ratio once again, and we're just going to paint the bolter. Try not to go into the black, but if we do, it's not it's not the end of the world. We can just go back over the black again, and then I'm going to go into the backpack and do the silver vents on there. As you can see, I decided to do both arm pads in black and his, and his kneecap in black as well. I wasn't sure what, what else to do them in, so I just thought, Primaris, let's do them black. Yay, let's get this started. More washes. So we're going to use the Nolan Oil on the silver, the Serapin Sepia on the gold. Also, it's very important to give these both a very good shake, as we don't want the pigment sitting at the bottom. Now we're going to highlight the silver metallics using the shining silver from Army Painter. I'm going to use the highlighting technique on this. I'm going to highlight the Aquila on the shoulder pad and on the chest and I'm going to highlight the bolter as well.
So next we're going to paint the purity seal. We're going to use the Hetchin Lightchen from Game Colour. Then I'm going to use Juki Violet to wash it. And I'm going to highlight it with a final colour of G Sealer Purple. So we're going to go back to the Citadel's Mephist on red and we're going to go over the whole of the armour and a base coat it again but we're going to leave the recesses we're going to leave the recessed areas so because I want to keep that wash within that area and this will give it a further 3D effect and it'll make it look more realistic. Now I'm going to paint the face grill on the helmet um, with the Primar Space Marines I have been painting them all white and then, then using a Nolan Oil wash over that and then re-highlighting it with white again. I just find it divides the armour so there's obviously the red, the bulk of the colour, you've got the black which divides it and then you've got the red, then you've got the white that divides it as well. So with the blood splatter on the shoulder pad and the forehead on the helmet, I've painted that with the Lechen Heichen and then once it's dried I've done a little tiny droplet on the bottom end of the, of the blood of GC the purple. This just acts as a highlight and makes it into a 3D effect. Then for the eyes, I painted the eyes white and I'm just going to highlight it with a green wash from Citadel. I think it's Beltan Green. And that's it now guys, he's all complete, he's up to tabletop standard, ready for battling against your mates, in Games Workshop or at your local gaming clubs. Now thanks for watching guys, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you soon, nice one.